Hello everybody. Alright, today I'm going to do an updated version of my Shaco guide for patch 8.11. Just a heads up, I hate all of the new changes in terms of items, except one little rune that I'm going to get into just in a second. Uh, so I think the new items don't really work on Shaco. If you want to know my explanation, uh, let me know, because I'm not going to go in depth in this guide. I just want to make it as quick as possible. And I also do stream on Twitch, so if you guys want to watch me play live, you can check out the link in the description. I'll link my Twitch stream down there, and I would say let's get right into it. Alright, so, in terms of runes, very simple stuff. Uh, I use Electrocute now, Sudden Impact, IO Collection, Hit the Hunter. As I said, if you want an explanation why, leave a comment down below. I'll try to do it uh, as fast as possible and as in much detail as possible. I also use Sorcery. This is the Nimbus Cloak is the reason I started playing again. I didn't play in 8.10 that much because I just didn't enjoy the game. Uh, Skullcrab was too oppressive. There was like almost no counter play to like Graves and Xin uh, Now they got nerfed a little bit, so it's fine, I guess. Uh, and also Celerity, really good combination. In terms of um, in terms of items, I use pretty much. I mean, uh, so I use refillable potion now instead of rejuvenation bead. Just because the early game skirmishes are just really important. And most of the time I either get tier mud first back anyways or I don't get it. So the 150 gold doesn't really make a difference. And also it's really nice for the extra sustain in the jungle. Uh, obviously rush tier mud first item. Best junk, best best Shaco item there is probably. Uh, at least, you know, in terms of usability. Uh, it makes you really useful. Then also Berserker Screeves, because the attack speed from the jungle item got removed, so you really want to get some early attack speed. Then obviously Rush Duskwade, core build, Every everybody uses Duskwade right now, except maybe Shaklon because he's still stuck in season like fucking 5 or something. Uh, yeah, and then Ghostblade, really awesome item, super, super good, it gives a lot of movement speed, really nice, also the lethality, the attack damage best item you, sh you should always buy it in terms of um, situational items so those are the items I build every single game until this part right here and now depends on the kind of game you have LDR is really good now 35% of total armor is being penetrated by this item so that means if somebody has ninja tabbies their armor is gonna be super low like ninja tabbies you won't even notice them um, Mortal Reminder is pretty good against like Vladimir's, uh, Soraka, Fiora, somebody that you want to duel or want to one-shot but has a lot of healing that prevents you from one-shotting them. Guardian Angel is pretty good if you want to go in and fear dying, uh, because maybe a lot of CC or something and you just w wouldn't be able to escape. Uh, in combination with high Hoon Reduction, this is really good because you can queue in R, then pop the Guardian Angel and then queue out again most of the time. Trinity Force is an okay item. I know, I think my last guide I said it's my core rush item after uh, after Duskway. But I just don't like it anymore. I felt like if you don't get Sheen as the first item of Trinity Force, like you can't insta buy Sheen, it's really bad. Like building the components like the sting, the Stinger, like the, the what, what are they called? Uh, the daggers, it's, it's just really bad. Or like the, the health crystal thingy right there. It's just, I don't like it. Uh, so if you don't get Insta Sheen and then buy Trinity Force instantly, it's really bad in my opinion. But you can build it. It's a strong item. Uh, the, bone, the the damage from Trinity Force in general, like the on-hit damage, is really good. So, yeah. it It's basically your preference. I just don't like waiting so long for the power spike. Um, static Shift is okay-ish, I would say. The cost got increased, which kind of sucks. Um, the attack speed is nice, the critical chance is nice, uh, and the movement speed is also good. And obviously the, the what's it called, the passive, the shift lightning as it says, the, bur the burst damage, it's just pretty good. Black Cleaver is basically the tank version of LDR, Lord Dominic's regard. Regard. Gives you health, a lot of cool reduction, 20%, and also shreds armor. So if you want to be a bit tanker and shred the tanks, this is your go-to item, I would say. Sterex is uh, you can build it I don't really like it some people do uh, it has a pretty good shield if you go in and want to like soak up Syndra ultimate or something but the stats don't really help you that much uh, both of the hydras are fine I would say 
but I wouldn't get them before uh, the fifth or sixth item just because the other items are just way better, I would say. Maw of Mamortius is okay. It got buffed, so it has more magic resistance now. It also gets cooldown reduction, which is nice. And also the passive shield if you drop below 30% of your health. Uh, you can do it. I rarely build it because I prefer the full damage kind of build. Um, Banner of a Command. Some people have been calling me out for being a troll and stuff. But I really like Banner of a Command. Uh, I've played it on last patch where it didn't get changed. But this patch is even stronger. Uh, I was playing Malphite. Uh, yesterday against Orin and Orin rushed Banner of a Command and it literally took me one minute to kill ba the, the Bannered minion. One minute. That's how long it took me to kill it. Now imagine buying this on Shaco. I wouldn't recommend buying this like first item or second item or third item unless you are really far ahead. Like if you are so far ahead that Dustblade and Ghostblade are enough to one-shot anybody like easily, then you can get Banner obviously. It has nice movement speed near to towers or close to towers, which is almost everywhere. Uh, the stats are okay, and obviously the active is just way too good. It's 70% damage reduction on minions is way too broken. So those are the items. Uh, I would say skill order is 3 points in Q, then max E, then max Q, then max W, and obviously get a point in R whenever you can. And I'll also show you my two favorite jungle clears i do at the moment they almost work every single game and they're really really good in my opinion so this is basically it i'll show you the clears and thanks for watching